Hi, I'm Anna Maria De Freitas, owner of the Harrison House Suites, Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, San Juan Island. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a Pakistani curry. So I have my wet ingredients to the left here. I have some onions that I've just rough, roughly chopped, uh, some ginger, some garlic, and tomatoes. So those are probably the very familiar looking things. Then I have all the dry ingredients. I have whole cloves, whole coriander, whole cumin seeds, and ground mustard. Here I have black peppercorns, some bay leaves, some turmeric, some chilies, some fenugreek, and these are actually cinnamon sticks. They're just pieces, so again, it'll make it a little bit easier when we toast them off and then try to grind them up into our curry. And then I have some cardamom. So we're going to go over to the hot station, and we're going to saute our wet ingredients, and we're going to toast off our spices, and then we're going to make our curry. Then we'll come back to the station here, and we'll blend everything up. Okay, so here we are in the hot station. So I'm just going to get my pans heated up here. And I'll have one for the dry spices and one for the wet ingredients. So I'll put a little bit of oil in here for the wet ingredients and let that heat up a little bit. And I'll start adding my spices. And you'll know when they're ready. You're going to just, they're going to let off a nice fragrance. I'm doing the whole spices first. And then I'll add the ground after they have a few minutes in the pan. Okay. After a few minutes when they start releasing their oils, we'll add the dry ingredients. And then waiting for our oil to heat up here. And I can add my onions. And we'll let these cook till they're translucent. Again, a rough chop is fine because we're going to grind everything up. So these are going to take probably a good 10 minutes to soften up. And then we'll just continue to let the spices release their oils. So we're going to add the dry ingredients. And lower that. You just want to So let these soften just a bit more. I'm going to turn the spices off. I'm going to add the ginger and the garlic. I left my garlic whole because I didn't want it to burn. I'll add the tomatoes last. I'm going to add the tomatoes and we're going to cook them until everything turns a little bit brown. Okay, I'm going to add the spices. Just make sure we get them all. And then we're just going to blend this for a few minutes to make sure everything is incorporated. And I'm going to add my salt. I know this looks a little thick. We'll be adding some water to it when we puree it. Now it's smelling awesome. I'm going to meet you over at the other station and we're going to puree this and we'll see what our curry looks like. So here we have the base of our curry and we're going to puree it. I'm using a Vitamix because I want to make sure I get all those seeds well pulverized so you have a nice creamy mouthfeel. I'm going to add a little bit of water because I know it's pretty thick. Let me pour out our curry. So there you have it, your Pakistani curry. Bon appetito.